Hey everyone, thanks for checking out a, another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Catch us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, all that good stuff. We have full-length podcasts coming soon, so we'll keep everybody updated. We've gone on a bit of a hiatus with everything going crazy right now with the coronavirus, COVID-19, all that stuff. But right now I want to talk to you about a problem that affects everybody in the industry, and it affects everybody in a different manner, and I want to talk about scope creep. So... Scope creep is one of those things when communications and expectations are not clearly defined. And that's Cleo. Hello, Cleo. When you're not defining <clears throat> exactly what you're going to do in a set amount of time for the desired amount of money, things get a little murky. So we encourage everybody to have a firm contract, a firm scope of work <clears throat> to make sure that Everyone is on the same page from the beginning. Now, at some, at any point in the project, if you are the contractor, i.e. us, and requests start getting out of hand. Now look, we're pretty accommodating. If it's a small request, we'll take care of it. If it's a couple small requests, we'll take care of it. But when they're big, big requests, when five custom pages end up going to 19 or 20, such as the case that we're in, you have every right to stop, hit the brakes and say, this is not what we agreed on. Please review our scope of work. This is, we need X amount of dollars to move forward. And when you do that, what you're doing is one, you're demonstrating your value and your command and you're getting paid what you're worth. And also what's happening is there's no animosity or no attitude or no bias during the project. You're willing to get everything done as a professional as long as you're being compensated for it. So, Scope creep really comes down to defining expectations, clearly communicating what each party is responsible for and what you have agreed to do in, in a timely manner. <laughs> now, when somebody starts creeping on the scope and you say yes to it, make sure that you redefine the timeline. Because obviously, if they double the amount of work, the timeline and the project benchmarks are not going to go according to what was previously planned. So scope creep, be on the lookout for it. Don't let it rob you of your sanity. Don't let it rob you of profitability. Don't let it rob you of doing a great job for your clients. It's your job to communicate what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, how you're going to do it, and what you need to do that. So, hey everybody, thanks for watching us. Again, we're going to be back with some full-length episodes of the New Marketing Show shortly, and hope everybody's well out there.